All righty, so it is already going to be October. And so I just put together a bunch of uh, what we call spooky stuff. <laughs> I don't know. I hope it inspires you to do something creative. But we're just going to call this month the spooky caboodle. I know, corny, but I thought it was funny. It was Susan's idea. I'll blame her. <laughs> anyway, so I'll, I'll show you all the stuff that's here in the kit. We'll be making various things throughout the month. And some of the things um, we've done in the past. So you could have some, um, you know, reference videos to make various things that we'll talk about. And then we'll make some new fresh things also. So let me just start off with all the stuff that is in here. Um, we've got these little twinkle lights. These are mine, so they're kind of used and they're, you know, all messed up. But yours will be wrapped up really nice. <laughs> I just didn't have any at the time of the filming. I had to order some new ones. So you will get a full pack of the twinkle lights. That's important for some of the things we're going to make. And um, you're going to get some of these glasses, which we're going to do some interesting things with those. Also, you're going to get one of these little magnifying glasses. We'll make some interesting things with that. Um, you're going to get, whoopsie, <laughs> a few of these skulls. I think there's about, yeah, about four of these in each one. Little mini skulls and then you're going to get a large one and you know what's a little spooky thing without some spooky eyes we'll do some interesting things with those and then you have to have a few bones so you're going to have a few bones <laughs> and then you need a full body bone <laughs> and then of course a pen that shaped as a bone. I'm just realizing there's a bone theme here, right? And then some of these, these are um, the holders for microscopic, um, microscopic, microscopic, what? Anyway, pieces of glass. I know there's a right name for it. I can't think of it right now. Anyway, you're <laughs> You're going to get three of those. We'll do, again, some interesting things with those. Oops, one already came out. I've been playing around with these. These are just those, um, those covers, watch covers. But they make interesting little um, covers to put over, like, eyes and things like that. So we'll get a couple of those. And then in here, well, let me open it up. It's, um, you're going to get three, oopsie. Well, maybe I can't open it up. Where, 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 where? Anyway, they're those little small, oh, I have samples here. These are those little small, little small bottles. And they're going to be in various sizes. And I think I put three in there. So that is what is in here. Didn't want those to break. This is a whole big long roll. I think it's about three yards of gauze. And we'll be dyeing that. And then there is going to be one of these glass. Glass? Where? Let me see. Let's see if we can have some back in here. It's a glass negative. And we're going to play around with that with the little sparkly lights. And so this is pretty thick glass. These are vintage. These are originals. So each one will have one. They'll all obviously be different. And then I found some interesting napkins. Those are going to be in there. Oh, of course, you have to have a creepy hand. And I think some of these have two. Some of them have four. I guess those have two. I think there's two here. These are very thin, which is they're very thin. So it's really cool for 
decoupage -y. And I think there's two of these in here, too. Yeah, there's two there. <laughs> I just thought this was funny. I think there's four pieces. Yeah, there's four in here. And this has a bunch of crows. So that's one of those large ones. Like the dinner napkin size. So you have lots of crows to pick from. Oops. And then Mr. Skeleton. And that's also a large one. So there's how many there? Quite a few. Six. Hello. And then um, some of this um, netting. I forget how much is in here, but there is a whole bunch, a whole bunch, a whole bunch, a whole bunch. Right there. And then I have a whole slew of printouts that I thought would be fun to play with. And we'll go through those very quickly. And we'll just flip them over, flip them over. And just all things kind of on the edge of being creepy. <laughs> creepy is the operative word. Creepy, spooky. Oh, I love this one. She's walking a giant cockroach. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, and we have to have our eyeballs because we're going to be playing with the eyeballs. Here's some more eyeballs. we got to have some kind of bugs and then some more creepy stuff. And then some of these guys that I used on my abandoned, abandoned people. Remember that? And then some more little creepy stuff. And then some of these that we used a couple of years ago, some we used, some we didn't on various projects that we've done in the past, but they're just part of my favorite stuff. And some of the little creepy houses, you have to have some creepy houses. Hello. Some more creepy stuff. Some more creepy stuff. And you have to have the large crows or else it's just not creepy enough. And then I had these papers of bow bunny paper. And it has some um, spider webs. Whoops. And then some really cool writing with some splotches of blood. <laughs> and then some more creepy people. <laughs> Oh, too many creepy people. And then in here, I have some x-rays. There are, I did them on transparencies. So there's a lot of different ways we can, we can play with those. So those will also be in there. And then, of course, we have the box. So if you wanted to make Sort of like, like we did that apothecary box. I think we used one of these. And we can decorate that all up and make little compartments and put all of this stuff in there. Keep the lid on or off, whatever you want to do. We're also going to make like a little journal cover with those eyeballs and stuff. And anyway, too many things to name. <laughs> but we will be putting these all together in some interesting stuff. You guys might have some cool ideas that you can share with us. And that is what's in here. A lot of fun stuff. I'm really anxious to play with this, to tell you the truth. I think it's going to look pretty cool. Put it all in there so it doesn't get messed up. And then I had a few things left over. Um 
from some other projects that I'm going to throw in there, but they're all going to be a little bit different. So I'm not going to show them. So you won't go, I didn't get that. Well, yeah, that's true. Maybe you didn't get that <laughs> because they're all going to be different. Anyway, I think this is going to be a lot of fun. It can go in, you know, so many different directions. Anything that, you know, you can think of, that's what we're going to end up doing, I'm sure. And I think it's going to be just a lot of fun just to be silly and put all these little goofy things together in the most creative way that we can figure out. So it's in the shop right now. And um, I think we're going to have a lot of fun. Boo. <laughs>